Hello lovelies and Fragnostic and welcome back to Lovecraft Week here on the channel. The only seven day celebration of the works of HP Lovecraft that is worth attending the others. <laughs> they don't even have cake. Do I have cake? Of course! Can you have some? No! Now, there's been some wacky expansions to the mythos since Howard's passing. Yes, yeah, some on first name terms with Howard. Call him Howie, he calls the police. But even he with his far-flung forbidden knowledges, could never have predicted that he would be transformed into a fully-armed, cultist-splattering assault vehicle, as is the case here in Howard Phillips' love car. A top-down driving shooter, which is like Devil Daggers in GTA 1. Kill Frenzy! Stop the great old ones, or die trying. Who's the final boss? Car to Lou. Car D. D. Fuck you all. So criminally underappreciated in my time. Just like Howie himself. That's a fact, and here's another one, because a new game means another startling Lovecraft true fact. Rylehian, the native phlegm summoning tongue of the old ones, might seem like an endlessly intrinsic work that took months or even years to formulate, but did you know that Lovecraft actually came up with a language in a mere 40 minutes? by attempting to headbutt a common field mouse that was crawling across his laptop keyboard. That is absolutely true. Utterly irrefutable in its honesty. And if anybody tries to tell you otherwise, remove their nipples with a spoon. They'll have nothing to pay the ferryman with in the next world. It's the ultimate punishment. Come, fetch a driving cap. We're going for a ride. Oh, there's a pickup truck. How very rural. What are these cryptic symbols upon the ground? Some no! I dare not gaze upon them lest my sanity tongue punches its own bottom. We got our first lot of early risers here. Free t-shirts to the first 50 cultists through the gates. This is uh, exceptionally fiddly to control. Should probably have gone with a pad here. Said the menstruating lady as her tampon became sentient and borrowed towards her heart. That's what you get for buying your woman products from the lost pharmacy of Leng. They're summoning something. I can hear them. Stop that. Stop that right now. There will be no star dreaded spawn crawling across these heaves. You can fire a shotgun out your left window and a. Ooh, hello. Upgrade time. Uh, acceleration, max speed, or max ammo. Wait, who's granting me this boon? Gog Whore, is this from you? Stop sending me presents, Gog Whore. I don't want them. Just trying to send me insane so you can eat me. Although, holy Christ, you did it. You lunatics actually summoned something. Ram it, ram it and kill it. It's coming off premium, I just... <laughs> Look at it, bargaining for its life with its black gifts. Oh, I don't know, I'll be dead in a minute anyway, so yeah, sure, that one. Fuck you! I took a pincer. The world is saved. I don't know if- Oh, <laughs> fucker. I took it down with me though. A hero's death and all that. And I beat my top score as zero. Look at that. <laughs> I love how there's one cultist awkwardly chanting after everyone else has finished. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Get away from my love car! I'm gonna do some big old loops and find out where they're summoning these motherfuckers up. Not so big. Without your friends! Are you heretic? So yeah, you got a shotgun out your left window, a machine gun out your right, and uh... Guess you're driving with your feet here. Looks like you get your health back by devouring their souls as they emerge from their bullet riddled corpses too, which is lovely. Boons! Foul creatures, take your black benefactions and leave! Wait, more bullets? Fuck yeah! Aya Cthulhu! Jesus Christ, why didn't you say so, guy? Come in. Yeah, sure! Eat my cat, why not? Boons! Eldritch Terrorfish, I renounce your subsidies! At least I would if the mechanics out here weren't so ludicrously untrustworthy. What is petrol and why do I need it, liar? Boons! Cthulhu, please pimp my ride! Yo, mortal dog. I heard you liked offering praise and blood tribute to those who slumber beyond time and space, so we replaced your engine with the dread alchemies of Yogoth, and now your sunroof is a swirling portal to the abyss of ye. Don't open the glove box. Don't ever open the fucking glove box, do you hear me? No matter what threats it might make. Look, you kinda... Jesus. 
You, you kind of say from the projectiles the closer you are to it, so long as it's still got limbs. Is that? Ah! I killed one! Fuck you! I was hoping I could dry through its corpse there. Huh? You remember when a bunch of sailors beat up Cthulhu by driving a boat through his head? Remember when that was a legitimate way to defeat an old one? Now you got the Call of Cthulhu RPG that has an FAQ entry telling you that if you nuke him, fuck off, he'll be back in a quarter of an hour, just more radioactive than before. You need some heavy duty shit to bring down the Lord Riley. That's why I always roleplay Godzilla, or Kratos. Don't have time for these three hour roleplay sessions, I'm in and out in five fucking minutes, me. Sanity check! I climb out of Hades in every fucking game of my franchise, you kidding me? Killed the Hydra, walked inside it, found someone else to kill in there, killed him, found him again in hell, killed him again. This RPG doesn't have a table for the shit I've done, believe me. I feel like I'm doing badly at this. I need to invoke somebody with better driving skills. Aya! Aya! Colin McRae! I think there is a case to be made for a GTA style Lovecraft game. Father Dagon wants you to fly tiny RC planes into Miskatonic University. Why? It is not for you to know, mortal. You have 30 seconds to get to the payphone, or I might say, but we'll devour this world. I like to think you go into ammunition, try to buy a Glock or whatever, and the guy behind the desk will just start laughing hysterically at you. Bullets are useless against a great dreamer! Cthulhu for target! They kick the chair away, swinging merrily on his noose. All the taxi missions would be impossible because all you'd ever pick up would be deep ones trying to get back to the lair. Oh shit, it's Officer Tentacle Penny. You know why I'm an Innsmouth man. They ate my moms. This is clearly a game that needs to be made. If there's one good thing I can say about this, it's that it made me realize it. This always throws me an upgrade just as I'm about to get the dog shit knocked out of me by a barrage of abomination spooge. Oh man, look at all those markers. Cultists of winning. The stars are right. I don't get if I can just ram these fuckers. Like, I don't know if that's damage shown on his tentacle or just graphical vomit. I think you can. I think it's why it upgrades me whenever I accidentally crush into one. Morning, heretic! This would work a lot better without having to pick up ammo, I can tell you that much. Especially once you've boosted your acceleration and your max speed, you have to pull a couple of passes to be able to drive over any of it. There's no, uh, what's the word? There's no weight to the truck here, it's very floaty. Where am I? What is this brown place? What place is this color? It's got the color scheme of an accountancy simulator. Aside from the random splashes of blood. Accountant with a nosebleed. There you go. There's another upcoming title from Fragtastic Studios. You're up for the big promotion. But your dastardly rival Jordan Wilkins just smashed you in the face with a lamp. How long can you cook the books before you pass out? Tilt your head back to stem the crimson tide. Spin in your chair to raise much needed adrenaline. So your green light dies the second I get an idea for anything worthwhile to actually show up on it. Fucking typical. 